Hello everyone. Welcome to this channel. Today we delve into a significant topic that has captured the hearts and minds of Muslims around the world, the Palestine-Israel conflict. According to Islamic teachings, how will this conflict ultimately be resolved? To understand the Islamic perspective on the end of this conflict, we must first look at the prophecies found in the Quran and Hadith. In the Quran, Allah mentions the children of Israel and their historical significance. However, the detailed eschatological prophecies are primarily found in the Hadith. The Prophet Muhammad spoke about various signs of the end times, including the role of the Dajjal, the Antichrist, Imam Mahdi, and the return of Prophet Isa, Jesus. These events are intertwined with the ultimate resolution of conflicts, including the one in Palestine. According to Hadith, the Mahdi, a rightly guided leader, will appear when the world is filled with injustice. He will lead the Muslims and establish justice. Following this, Prophet Isa, Jesus, will return, descending in Damascus. He will join forces with the Mahdi to confront the Dajjal. Prophet Isa will defeat the Dajjal and establish a reign of peace and justice. This era will see the resolution of many conflicts, including the Palestine-Israel conflict. The land will be restored to a place of peace and harmony under Islamic rule. Islamic teachings emphasize that the ultimate victory is not just territorial but spiritual and moral. It's about establishing justice, peace, and the worship of one God. The return of Prophet Isa symbolizes the final triumph of truth over falsehood. While the exact timeline and details are known only to Allah, the belief in these prophecies provides hope and patience to Muslims worldwide. It reminds us to strive for justice, support the oppressed, and maintain faith in Allah's plan. Thank you for watching. If you found this video insightful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more content on Islamic teachings and current events. May Allah grant peace and justice to all oppressed people. See you next time.